Hey guys, welcome to another Substance Painter 2 tutorial today, and this is something I want to get more into because it's something that I'm really interested in. All in all, what I'm going to show you today is how to apply textures or materials in Substance on an object that might be just one object by itself. So sometimes that when you might have models in the past, you might need separate models, or in this case, I'm using the um, actual matte character that was given out by uh, the Substance team when it was for the competition, and it is split up into several materials, but say for this headpiece, you want to apply several different materials to this one piece, um, how do you go about doing that? Now there's a f couple of ways, you know, common ways that you can do that. You can create yourself an ID map, which is based on your UV map, you give it specific colours, and you can do that in a, a different program, or you can bake that out from your 3D program, but I'm going to show you a way directly in Substance, and it's quite simple, and it's just using some folders. And in our layer stack, we want to add a new folder, and what I can call this folder is I can call this face or something like that because we're going to apply a material to this face here and what I can do is as soon as I do that I can grab a any type of material I'll just grab this sort of red aluminium smart material that I've got here now it applies it to the entirety of that head and we might not want that because I said that we wanted to only apply it to one piece and similarly with like I said before if you have an ID map you can select by color selection and select the piece that you want but if you don't have that you can right click on the folder create a black mask and because we've created a black mask it will hide everything which is not selected by white what we can do up at the top here is we can look for it's called polygon fill and polygon fill is quite useful for as it suggests you can fill by polygon but because this mesh is quite high poly we'd have to click these um, polygons separately and it'd take quite a long time so what you can choose is the one on the end which is called UV chunk fill so if you click that make sure your color selection is all the way in the white and what we can do is we select by UV so if I show you and I bring up the UV map side by side of this object here by hitting F1 I can just left click on the face here because it's UV mapped separately and you can see there I have now applied just that material with the mask because you can see the little white a mask there when I make it slightly bigger it's just applied to there you can go back to your um, paintbrush sort of tool and you can see it's there so we want to add something around the sort of edges on here what we can do is we can essentially just do it again we can create a new folder and the reason I create a folder is so that we can add many layers um, inside here if we need to add some grunge uh, to this we can add some more fill layers above inside this folder and it just encapsulates it because you can just add yourself a fill layer and mask it like that but I like to keep it in folders so it's nice and neat and I can add multiple layers for each part and I can call this say outer and I can do exactly the same thing what I can do is I can add I can add this gold armor that I've got here and you can see again it applies over the top because this layer is above what we can do is right click on the folder add blank mask and you can see it again, we can go to the polygon fill at the top. So make sure that we're on UV chunk fill, make sure it's all the way in the white and we can left click and essentially we can select as many parts as we want to to fill in the areas that we might want to start masking off and you can see it just like that and we can do that for as much as we need based on the UV coordinates that have already been filled in for us and say you didn't want or you'd made a sort of error somewhere you can select back on say this red aluminium that we've added you can click on the mask again you can go back on the UV chunk fill and you can take the color all the way into the black and then you can left click and it will get rid of that mask so now we don't have any of that sort of material painted on and like I say you take it back to the white we're going to just mask off the area that we want to be able to see so it's a really nice way to control everything that you've got within um, the objects that you've got themselves and uh, just a really simple way we just adding a mask and selecting the UV fill and you can get away with doing quite a lot of cool things is if I give you a really quick example of doing it on the body here so if I get rid of the head and I just click on the body piece here usually you wouldn't split it up into sort of three different materials if it was maybe more of a, a simple object so we can add a new folder create a black mask we can just drop something in there just garbage bag for instance and that's all good you can't see it yet but if we select on, select that black mask we go on the um, polygon fill and then for this time we can actually choose polygon fill itself and as long as we're in the white we can select individual polygons if you need to be really specific but again you can just use the UV chunk fill just to add 
of a large parts of the model if that depending how you've UV ma mapped your asset and that's the normal ways that I usually end up doing it because it ends up working quite well. So I hope this sort of quick tutorial just helped you out in learning quickly about masking and just blocking off different areas and it can really easily allow you to iterate on the objects that you have within the program. So thanks again for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.